are you children doing up here? I thought you went downstairs to play. Well, a couple of things came up. What? Us! <laughs> that I know. What I want to know is why. Something wrong? Well, 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 that wise guy, Andy Burchette, his father's in television, and he's always been jealous of Daddy, and well, he got a hold of this paper and read the kids what it said about Daddy's opening at the Copa last night. Oh. Right there. Did he really lay a bomb? <laughs> well, that's what it says in the paper. Oh, well, that's just show business talk when an act doesn't do too well. Oh, the poor darling. Listen, Daddy's going to be down here in a few minutes. Now, I don't want you to say... Morning. Oh, hello, darling. Nice to see you. <laughs> nice day, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Morning, dear. Hi, son. Hello, my little baby. How are you? Fine. Good. Daddy? Mm hmm? Did it make a real big noise? <laughs> Did what make a noise, honey? The bomb you laid last night. <laughs> Linda, Russ, go on up and play in your room right away. How do they know about it? Well, some little smart aleck kid, that Vershad kid, where well, he, he had a newspaper and so he showed it to Rusty. Hmm. Last night, Danny Williams laid a bomb. Oh, oh. guy doesn't pull any punches, does he? Well, it's not so tragic, really. It, you know, it could be a lot worse. Yeah, he could have wrote I laid an H-bomb. <laughs> it, it, it's rather constructive criticism. Now, wait, now, wait. Listen to this. Danny Williams, a truly great comedian, ventured into the field of satire, and his material was just too politely clever to satisfy an audience geared to the guffaws they expect from a strong old pro like Mr. Nightclub himself. Forget the art, Danny. Stay what you are. Now, that's not so bad. If it's not so bad, why is that Burchad kid teasing our children? Well, you know how cruel children can be. Yeah, I know. Whoever that is, I'm not here. Hiya, Kathy. Hiya, Danny. Hello, champ. How are you, baby? You don't have to tell me why you're here. You read the paper. Well, that's the reason I'm here, Danny. You know the old saying, a friend in need is a friend indeed. Uh, come on, cheer up. Chin up, stiff up a lip, and all that sort of rot. Suppose the critics did rap you. Are you going to listen to them? Are you going to listen to me? Huh. I saw you last night at the Copa. Yeah? Yeah, you were awful. <laughs> <laughs> the worst thing I have ever seen in my entire life. Look, if you came here to rub it in. Rub it in? What, are you, what kind of a guy do you think I am? Haven't I had it happen to me? Why, I've been up and down in show business so much, they're beginning to call me Mr. Yo-Yo. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I, that's one of the reason I came over. I know what you've been going through. So I figured you'd use a guy like me who's been through it in spades to tell you that you live, Danny. You live. I don't know why you'd want to, but you live. <laughs> oh, Milton, of course he'll live. And yeah. it was sweet of you to come by and see. My sure pleasure, was, champ. Sit down. Thank Sit down. you very much. Tell me something, Milton. Yeah. I mean, you've been through it so much. When, when, when you got wrapped in the papers, did, did the kids in the neighborhood pick on your daughter, Vicky? You must be kidding. It was worse than that. Huh? The other bookie snubbed my bookie. <laughs> my mother-in-law wasn't allowed to feel the fruit in the market anymore. <laughs> and worst of all, I give you the payoff, my dog ran away. Oh, well, it, it doesn't prove anything that your dog ran away. With my wife? <laughs> <laughs> That's our Milty, honey, never a straight oh, line. Oh, Daddy, what are you gonna do? If you don't laugh at it, you gotta cry at it. For over 40 years, I've given show business a 24-hour day and a seven-day week. In any other business, new fellows would come to me with their hats in their hand, begging me to teach them what I had learned. But show business, no. They come and they tell you what to do. Your rating slips a couple of points and boom, that's it. You know something? It's a rat race we're in. Absolute rat race. Once they stop applauding, they start booing. That's oh, what they do. Talk, right. talk, talk. If both of you didn't love it with its ups and downs, you wouldn't be in it. Oh, yeah? Well, Kathy, I have a very, very big flash for you. You ready for the bit? Sure. I am not in show business anymore. What? Oh, Milton, you're kidding. No, I'm not kidding. You gotta be kidding. You imagine Milton Brill quitting show business? Well, wait a minute. Just let, let's set them straight. When was the last time you read about me appearing in nightclubs or cafes or doing anything? Tell me, when? Well, I just thought you were kind of taking it easy, waiting for your annual fall comeback. <laughs> <laughs> funny line. That's the funniest line I'll ever use. <laughs> Danny... <laughs> 
<laughs> no, Danny, I'm on the level. You know what I'm doing now? Yeah. I'm in the oil business. I'm associated on a full-time basis with Jim Fraser. Come on. Fraser, didn't I read about him in a magazine recently? In a magazine? In a lot of magazines. Sure. This guy has got operations all over the world. He's a millionaire. Oh. Millionaire? Are you kidding? He's a billionaire. Is he really as rich as all that? One of the richest men in Texas. You kidding? He's so wealthy, he's got a beautiful mansion. Got three swimming pools. Three swimming pools? Yeah. Hot, cold, and Luke. <laughs> That's for his son, Luke, a sharp little character. He's about this tall. I want to tell you what he's a smart kid. This kid, smart as whip, can recite the alphabet from A to Z. <laughs> he's this short. He's 43 years old. <laughs> this little kid. What? Stop with the joke. Uh, I'm sorry. Now, fill me in. How'd you meet this Frazier guy? Well, it's a coincidence how I met him. We were coming back on a boat last year from Paris together. And we got friendly, and he oh. loves show people, and he's nuts. He likes to laugh. And we got to like each other. Well, he liked me. Uh -huh. So uh, we kept seeing each other here in New York. And before you know it, one day out of a clear blue sky, he calls me on the phone. He yeah. says to me, Burl, how would you like to go on a business trip with me to Saudi Arabia? Hmm. Me. Yeah. Hey, you, you call me? So, like so I went with him on the trip on his own private plane. <whistles> Boy, what a plane. Beautiful plane. He's got, a, he's got his own game room. A lot of private planes have a game room. For football? <laughs> I'm in no mood to play straight, man. Well, I, got, I got a lot of material left over. I got to use it somewhere. <laughs> I should have known you were clowning. In the oh, first no. Time. Oh, you were oh, never so wrong in your life about me clowning. Nah, I want, listen, Danny, I have quit clowning. What? Oh, I have quit clowning. I am now a member of the board of directors of Fraser Enterprises. Right there. Hey, honey, this is on the level. Sure, it's on the level. You kidding? No funny man for me anymore. Catering to a bunch of people who pay a $2 cover charge and think that they own you. This new position I have, Danny, has dignity. Class, dignity. Gee, Milk, that sounds great. Now, yeah. wait a minute. So does show business have dignity. So does anything that you do well. Yeah? Where was the dignity last night at the Cooper? That's dignity this morning? Danny Williams lays a bomb? Oh, you're so right, Dad. You're smart. You got a brain up there. I know. What Hang on to that thing, boy. That's wonderful. Gee, I wish I could get into something like that. Me, I don't know anything else. It's show business or nothing. Honey, that's just the way wait, you wait, feel wait, today. Oh, pardon tomorrow. me for interrupting. I... What, what, you show business or not? Yeah. Dad, are you serious? Of course I'm serious. Well, look, if you want to quit show business, I can get you to quit like that. What are you oh, talking about? Yeah, what are you talking well, about? Wait a minute, honey. Just as I was telling you, this what? Jim Fraser. Yeah? He loves show people and loves to laugh. And by the way, he's one of your biggest fans. Dad. No kidding. He loves you. And I want to tell you, with vast enterprises that Fraser has, I, I think there's a job in there and a good sharp spot for you. You mean you can honestly get me into this organization? Will you listen to me? We're, we're having a board meeting at 4 o'clock this afternoon. I want you to come down and meet Jim yourself. Oh, Judge for yourself. Thanks a lot, Milton, but you he's not interested. Wait a minute, honey. Will you please let me the better judge of... Uh, honey, just a moment. Will you please? I mean, I know I laid a bomb last night, but, oh, but I honey, wear the listen, pants in this family, right? you'd be miserable if you got out I of wouldn't show be you'd miserable be at all. Look, if I'm the breadwinner in this look. family, let me win the oh, bread, honey, huh? Just because you guys night, just consume it. Let me win it. Hold it! Sorry, I'm carried away. Look, if I if I came here to start a fight, forget the whole thing. Wait a minute, forget nothing. I will be at that board meeting promptly at four o'clock. You will over my dead body. I'll be a few minutes late. <laughs> Yeah, let me you make a mistake. You never quit your business. Yeah, Milton did it. Why can't I? Oh, honey, will you please sleep on it? That's the trouble. I've been sleeping too long, baby. Sleeping too long. Now, look, I called Charlie Helper. He wasn't in. I wanted to tell him I quit. If he returns the call, please tell him to get another boy for tonight. Now, wait a minute. How can you do that to Charlie Helper? He didn't like your new material either. But, but what did he do? He let you do it anyway. And even when it was a flop, did he come around once and say, I told you so? Well... No, I gotta admit that. Well, after a person's been as loyal to you as all that, no complaints, no reproaches, doesn't he deserve some consideration from you? Yeah, I forgot all about Charlie, you know? Hmm. Sweet guy, he never said a word. Not a word. No, a lot of bosses, when they read those reviews, why, they'd be on your back so fast saying, I told you so, I told you so. I'll get it. Charlie! I told you so! <laughs> I, I told you your material was for Schlugana? <laughs> Don't worry, Charlie, he says. It's satire, you know? It sneaks up on you. You laugh on the inside. <laughs> yeah, you know, all I can tell you is that the laughing on the inside is driving my customers to the outside. <laughs> I'm terrible. I'm, I'm sick. I gotta take a pill. I, I gotta... I must take... A, I'm so shaky, I can't even think. Give me, give me there a blue pill. You know, Charlie, 
I owe you a debt of gratitude. You don't know what you've just done for me. You don't know what you've just done to my club. <laughs> I know, I laid a bomb. A bomb, and what a bomb. And right now there is a team of scientists checking the place out for a fallout. <laughs> okay, Charlie. Goodbye. Oh, Danny, Charlie isn't the issue. No, then what is? Listen, Danny, let me warn you one thing. If you don't throw out that new material and go back to your old act, then I'm getting myself a new boy just like that. Okay, get yourself a new boy. Wait a minute, Danny, where can I get myself a new boy just like that? Oh, goodbye. <laughs> yeah, I, where can... See you around. I'm, I was... I, he, he quit? I mean, he really quit? He sure did. I'm sick. <laughs> I'm sick. Give me another pill. Yeah, I didn't think you'd make it. Why not? Well, after the way Kathy was acting. Look, kid, I wear the pants in the family. Yeah, well, it sure looked like she owned the belt that holds them up. <laughs> the board meeting's over. You can go in now, Mr. Burrow. Thank you. It's over? You don't go in till it's over? I thought you were a member of the board. I am, but those those are little things, the technical things. They're kind of dull. You know what? Jim doesn't like me to bother with it. Oh. Come on, let's go in and see Jim. I don't want to keep him waiting. Get rid of my hat. Come on, come on. You'll love this guy. He's a great guy. J.F. Milton. How are you, boy? Well, here he is, the wailing Lebanese. <laughs> Danny. Danny Williams. Hello, Mr. Frazier. This is an honor. A couple of my key men. Walt Kingston, Thorny Johnson. Hello, Mr. Howdy Kingston. Uh, I'm Johnson. Oh, Johnson. Johnson. Excuse me. Hi. 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 I can't see. tell you what a pleasure this is. You've always been one of my favorite performers. Well, J.F., you're one of his favorite billionaires. <laughs> <laughs> you're like a breath of spring after one of those dull board well, meetings. Well, that's the trouble, you big businessmen. You don't get outdoors enough. I have no time. You got enough money to build your own indoor outdoors. <laughs> <laughs> indoor outdoors. Indoor outdoors. Oh, he was out of my house the other night. We had a party to keep the people in stitches. Oh, yeah. Well, I got I got another trick for your party next week. It'll kill him. You want to do it with me? Watch this trick. The card trick. I cut the cards in half. Spin the card, throw it up, catch it in the deck. You want to do the trick with me? Yes. This is dynamite. Now pick out a card. Don't let me force one. Take any one that you want. <laughs> You remember, J.F.? Now yeah. look at it, remember. Now tear it in half. Tear it in quarters. Tear it in eighths. That's it. Tear it in sixteenths. Tear it in, uh... <laughs> Twenty-nine. <laughs> Hold the cards in your hand. And when I count three, throw them over your head. One, two, three. Happy New Year. <laughs> How about that, boy? How about boy? that, boy? Do you think that's anything? You should see Danny at a, at a, at a home. He's terrific. He Come gets on. them yelling. They never stop screaming. I'll, I'll bet it. he's funny, too. Well, I've been known to have liver chuckler, too. Oh, I don't be so modest chuckle. He gets yells. Every time he walks on a cafe floor, they yell. They yell, get off. <laughs> that's very funny. That's very funny. Yeah. I'm glad you think so, because it, it used to be my joke. <laughs> <laughs> it used to be my old nose, too. <laughs> J.F., you know what I was telling you about him for the organization? Don't you think he'd be great with us? Yes, I think he would. What do you say, boys? Yes, we can always use a fellow like him. You like it here with us, Danny. Certainly appreciate Mr. Burrell setting it up for me, but, uh, I mean, how do I uh, fit into this situation? Why, the same as Milton does. Yeah, well, well how, how is that? I mean... Uh, Why, uh... Come here, Danny. Look out there. That's pretty high up. Yes, sir. We're on the 80th floor of the Fraser Building. And every floor is a different division of the Fraser Enterprises. Eighty floors. Now, how do you suppose we got up here? In the elevator? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're right about him. No, Danny, what I mean to say is, how do you suppose we got to be at top of the oil industry? Imagination, my boy. Picking the right man for the right job. Now, then you and Milton, of course, don't know anything about oil in a tactical sense, but I can buy technical men with a dozen. But you and Milton, you can't just find men like you do. It certainly means a lot coming from a man of your caliber. And I thank you, but uh, I, I just uh, a little quandary here. I mean, uh, what's my job specifically? I mean, what well, no, I... uh, just, just don't be in a hurry. Get to know us. Join the organization. And then, well, now, for a starter, would you like to join me at golf on Sunday? Oh, I'd love it. Well, that'd be wonderful. I'm playing golf with Featherstone of the Pan National Oil Company. I'm trying to get some of those leases of his. And you make a foursome. Well, uh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Sunday. Did you say Sunday? Yeah. Gee, I, I have to take my 
kids to the zoo Sunday. I goofed off last week, and I just don't dare do it again. I couldn't well, disappoint them. All right, I, I suppose that's all right. But as a matter of fact, I like it, you know. It's a nice family man. You'll be there, won't you? Well, I, I'll tell you, Jim, this makes three golf Sundays in a row. You know, my wife's getting pretty tired of sitting home knitting. She finished her afghan, and I've got a sneaky suspicion she's starting to knit a new husband. <laughs> <laughs> a new husband? Oh, a new You'll husband. have to tell that to Featherstone the golf course. You comedians, he's a sucker for you. Well, I want to tell you the reason that 12 I Twelve o'clock on the first eve. Yeah, but I was going to say that... Twelve o'clock. Uh, yes, sir. I'm very glad. Excuse me, Mr. Fraser. They're ready with your call from Cairo. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. I was expecting it. If you'll excuse me, will you take Danny out? Uh, it's a report right, I from, understand, you know. I understand. I'll step out. and No need for Milton to go after all. He's a member of the board. He wants to hear what's going on. I'll wait for him outside. No, Milton will go with you. You understand, don't you, Milton? Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, I'll, I'll go with him. Sure. All right, this is Fraser. Go ahead, Cairo. All that stuff is boring in there. Yeah. yeah. He, he's a great guy, isn't he? Huh? Yeah, yeah. Gee. Danny, you know it's going to be good having you around here in the organization. You know, old pals together again. Like the old gang over Milt, here. you know, maybe I shouldn't rush into this thing. What's the matter with you? Oh, well, I've been thinking, pal. I've been thinking that all I have to do to fix my act up is throw out that shishi material and go back to my solid meat and potato stuff, go back to the copa where I belong. Danny, you, are you out of your mind? I'm trying to get you out of show business. You're flopping right back into it. You forget about the bomb you laid last night. You're forgetting about the way the critics knocked your brains out. Where's the dignity? Where's the, the idea of quit being a clown? I'm thinking about that, Milton. There's nothing undignified about being a clown, not if it's your profession. Not if you're doing it to entertain an audience. Then you're an artist. A good clown is an artist, you know. But when you're doing it for a power-drunk big shot, Milty, then you're just a court jester, a buffoon. Oh, Milt, you got too much talent for this sort of thing. Come on, let's both get out of Danny, here. Danny, wait a minute. What are you trying to say? What, what are you trying to what say? What do I have to do? Spell it out? You don't me. have to spell it out, but explain. Tell me, what are you trying to say? All right, there's one thing bugging me. You know I what? came in here, I found you out here. There's a board meeting going on in there. Then it's over. You're allowed to go in. Now they get a call from Cairo. Confidential. You have to leave. Why? Well, Danny, I'm only here three weeks, and I don't know exactly three weeks, what's going three on. Three weeks, three months, or three centuries. It all spells the same thing. You are nothing but a court jester or a buffoon. That's all. Oh, Danny, don't say that. You're out of line. Don't well, say why it. Why aren't you in there? Well, I... Danny, I can be in there if I want to, but you don't understand. It's, it's trivial stuff, and he's a very considerate man. Oh, sure, real considerate. That's why he lets you spend Sunday with your wife. He's awful considerate. Look, Milt, all they need you for is to be funny man at a business golf game, and that's all. Milky, be honest with yourself, pal. They only need you for laughs. Yeah? Well, I'm going to prove to you that you're wrong. How are you going to do that? I'll prove it to you. Come with me. You're wrong. I'm not going to be shoved around. Either the leases come to me or they don't go to anybody. We'll have to straighten those people out in Cairo. Now, Walter, I want you to take a message for Some them. trouble in Cairo, boys? Yes, we have a... I have no time for you, Milton. I just uh, want to help you. Is there anything I can do, Chief? Yes, there is something you can do. You can get out of here and leave us alone. We have a lot of work to do. Now, see that the circuits are kept clear to the coast for 5 o'clock. Get in touch with my representatives in Italy. Get me Rome and get me Florence. <laughs> While you're talking to Florence, see if she's got a girlfriend for me. <laughs> I have no time for your jokes. Well, I, I was just ad-libbing and trying to get a little laugh there. That's yes, a... well, we don't need you now. Well, uh, Fraser, when, uh, when do you need me? I'm sorry if I was abrupt, but we have a great deal of stake here. So have I. What's gotten into you? A little common sense, Mr. Big Shot. Just whom do you think you're talking to, you cheap comic? Talking to you, Jim Fraser, the billionaire, the man who thinks he can buy everything with money, including people. Get out of here, you clown! Oh, isn't that funny? Get out of here, you clown! Isn't that clever? You clown, he's got a ready wit. Let me know when he's ready. <laughs> <laughs> now see here. Oh, that's clever. Now see here, he's an ad libber. You want to ad lib with me? I'll check my brains. We'll start even. <laughs> There's the door. Isn't that funny? There's the door. He knows where the door is, oh. and nobody had to tell you. <laughs> oh. oh, oh, oh. Last time I saw a mouth like that, it had a hook in it. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, oh, oh. oh, you don't want to send me away. I'm a paid clown. You want to get your money's worth. Laugh it up. Laugh it up, Mr. Rub him Brown. off the payroll. Oh, rub. You don't have to rub me off the payroll. I can buy my own eraser. <laughs> get out of here. I can buy you but a dozen. I don't need you. Mr. Fraser, it's the other way around. I don't need you. I'm independent. And you know why? Because I just found out what my wife was knitting during those golf games on Sundays. She wasn't knitting a new husband. She was knitting me something that I really needed. Self-respect. Come on, pal. Like no business I know. Everything about it is appealing. Everything Sing is it, Dad. Sing it. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> Where else could you get that happy feeling? Sing it. When you are stealing that extra pound. Yeah. There's no people like show people. <laughs> oh, Danny, baby. Irving Berlin, that. he knew what he was saying when he wrote those words. You bet he did, Dad. How about this one here? Which one? Give a listen. The bird with feathers of blue Is waiting for you Back in your own backyard You find your castles in Spain through your window pane, back in your own backyard. Why you can go to the east, and go to the west, one day you'll come. Weary of heart, back where you started from. find your happiness lies right under your eyes back in your own I'm really, I'm really grateful, Danny. Absolutely grateful for making, well, having you make me see the light, Danny. I mean that. Uh, you know how our show folks stick together. Yeah, there's no business like our business. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. Only in this business is there loyalty and honesty and true friendship. You bet, buddy. Come in, come in. Come on, oh, Danny. Charlie. You wanted to see me? I got the message. Yeah, buddy. You know yeah. Milton Berle. Charlie Halper runs the Copa. Oh, yeah. Hi, hi, Charlie. How are you? Glad to meet you, sir. Listen, Charlie, I wanted to put your mind at ease. That's why I called you. Look, boy. Forget all about the whole argument. I'll be back at work tonight and using my old act, too, so you don't have to get yourself a new boy. Wow. He, um, Danny, uh, I, I, I don't know how to tell you this, you know, but, uh, you remember we, 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 we had that little chat, the talk, and, and you said, I'm through, I quit. Get yourself a new boy. I got a new boy. <laughs> you got a new boy? Yeah. I mean, look, Danny, I'm, I'm in business. I'm sorry. I'll see you. It's pretty good we're talking about loyalty, huh? How do you like this? That's murder. Absolutely murder. Danny, in every business, they have Benedict Arnolds. Yeah. But for every one like that, there's the other kind. The ones that are honest and sincere and have loyalty, and the ones you can trust. Now, Milton, don't be late. First show at nine. Yeah. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.